Hey guys, it's Annie here, and today we are going to be talking about the Unmasking the Horror Tours at Universal Studios Florida. Now, I'm not going to give any spoilers, so don't worry. If you do want spoilers, though, I have shorts here on the channel for all three of the houses during the Unmasking the Horror Tour, so you can see some of the photos I took inside the houses. So if you want spoilers, go check those out. But this is going to be spoiler free, and this is just going to be some of my thoughts and impressions from the tour. This has been the first time I've ever taken an Unmasking the Horror Tour, and everyone every year tells me, you gotta take them, they're so good, they're just amazing, and I've never gotten the chance to take one until this year, and I was blown away. I would book one again in a heartbeat. Fantastic. This was the three house tour, and now it was my first time taking an Unmasking the Horror Tour, but it's also Universal Orlando's first time offering the Unmasking the Horror Tours before Halloween Horror Nights actually starts. Halloween Horror Nights starts on August 30th this year, but the three house tour started on August 11th. So it's kind of flip-flop this year. Instead of experiencing the houses in full with scare actors and effects and then doing a lights on tour, we're doing lights on tours first and then the event will start. Unmasking the Horror Tours will run through the event though, so you know if you are one of those people that wants to see the houses in full first and then book a tour, definitely do that. They are unbelievable. So as I mentioned, it's the three house tour, and the three houses on the tour were Slaughter Cinema 2, the Museum Deadly Exhibits, and the Triplets of Terror. I know that when Triplets of Terror first got announced, a lot of people were kind of a little down on it because it was the sixth original house and I think a lot of people thought that we maybe lost an IP and that this was just kind of a last minute thrown out idea. I know a lot of people were kind of like, oh, triplets, this is gonna be the house I don't care about. After doing this tour, this is gonna be one of the first houses that I do. It looks amazing. I am blown away. The storyline as well. You know, when you look at the descriptions for the houses, they have little descriptions, like little little clip, like little blurbs about what the theme is. When you take either an Unmasking the Horror Tour or an RIP tour, your guide will give you so much information and backstory that it really makes the whole thing completely different. Knowing, you know, the, the things that our guide told us about Triplets of Terror, it made it even more exciting. And the story just kind of, you know, brought me in more. Going through the houses and seeing it with the lights on, you know, I, I do wish that I could have seen them without the lights on first with scare actors and things and then looked at them after. But I really don't hate the fact that I got to see them first. I know there's a few little scares that are going to be great. I mean, just mind blowing. And I wish that I had come around the corner in the dark and gotten those for, you know, the full effect. But seeing them with the lights on, now I'm so excited for, you know, the event. And there's 10 houses, so I don't even know what's in the other ones. I, I think I'm taking a six house tour as well, hopefully, cross your fingers. So I'll have like a look at those houses before the event starts as well. Deadly, um, the museum Deadly Exhibits, that one is just so beautiful inside, so many like details and things like that. And Slaughter Cinema, I think is going to be very popular with fans. This is Slaughter Cinema 2, but there's a lot in that house that's um, really gonna put you right into the movies, the B movies. And that's the one house that had like the most rooms that you couldn't photograph. So I have a feeling that those effects are really going to be great, especially because like I can't even spoil that for you with my photos. Um, unmasking the Horror Tours are um, about $100 and up for the three house. And you do get a little, um, you do, when you go on the tour, you can bring your headsets, uh, bring earphones, and then plug them into a little uh, thing. So your guide has a mic so that, you know, if you're farther behind in the group, you're still hearing all the details about the houses. When we were going through the houses, I never felt rushed. 
A lot of us were taking very detailed photos, taking a lot of time to read and look at little things inside the houses. And, and there was never any like, come on guys, keep up kind of thing. It was very like, it was the perfect pace. Everybody got plenty of time to photograph things. People got time to get, you know, photos with no people in it, things like that. So it was really amazing how I, I felt like I was worried that I was gonna be rushed. Like I gotta take pictures really quick and they're gonna be moving along to the next room. But even if like the guide was starting into the next room, you could still hear what was going on. So you didn't feel like you had to like stick right on the guide to hear the details. So I, I love that thing. So if they do provide um, little uh, ear um, buds or um, a little headset thing that you can use, or you can bring your own, just no Bluetooth ones, just bring like a standard um, jack for a uh, headset. But again, if you didn't bring any, they did have some for you to use. And I also suggest bringing a flashlight. It did say bring a flashlight. At first I was thinking, I'll just use the light on my phone. But if you're gonna take pictures, you can't use the light on your phone and take pictures. So I thought the flashlight was really nice. Plus there are, you know, like to be able to kind of shine it farther at a distance to see things that were kind of like on the ceiling. It was a little better. So I enjoyed bringing a flashlight. It made it really handy. I used it a few times. Even though it is lights on, there are a few rooms that are kind of dim. So, you know, you you do need a little extra light here and there, especially to see the details. And I think that's about all I have to say about it. Fantastic tour. 100%. PJ was my guide. He was amazing. And I've seen PJ giving tours in the park for years. So I was so excited that I finally got to be on a tour guided by him. It was amazing. So shout out to him. And if you do have a chance to book them, I suggest doing it. And if you have a chance to go to Halloween Horror Nights, make sure you do it. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're probably already going to Halloween Horror Nights. I assume you're a Halloween Horror Nights fan. If you're not, the unmasking tour, the tours are fantastic to get a look in the houses. And if you're nervous, that's a great way to see what to expect. You're gonna see where the scares are. You're gonna see how things are done. You're gonna see the setup of the rooms. You're gonna see what's gory, what's not. And I think that's a great way to kind of like an icebreaker if you're nervous about the event as the event. So check that out because they are over the top detailed incredible shout out to everyone that works on these houses and shout out to all the scare actors i can't wait to see you guys this season and i will see you guys soon i have a frequent fear an ultimate frequent fear pass so i will be doing live streams and videos and things from the park so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned i will see you guys next time happy halloween